Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Amir's Art Integrated Lessons. Today's lesson will be on self-portraits. Now, what is a self-portrait, you may ask? Well, a self-portrait is a drawing or painting that you make using a mirror or a picture of yourself. Now, that sounds like a lot of hard work. But with enough practice, anything is possible. All right. So with today's portrait, we're actually going to be using shapes. You have circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, ovals, and many other shapes. So without further ado, let's get started. For today, the supplies that we're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a mirror, and a selfie. There are some optional materials that you can use as well, such as markers, crayons, or color pencils. Today's lesson aligns with common core standards in geometry, which is shape identification. I hope you have your mirror or your selfie ready. Let's take a moment and look at our selfie. We're going to look at the shape of our head. Now you may notice that your head may be a circle, an oval, or maybe even a square. We have different shaped heads. Now for my head, it is shaped like an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and draw oval in the middle of my paper. Oh, see, I didn't connect it all the way, but that's okay. That's why I have an eraser. Uh, we all make mistakes. Now that we have our head drawn, it's time to split it up. We're going to draw a line from the top of our head down to our chin. Now we're going to draw a line from one side of our head to the other side. Now, why did I do that? Well, to answer your question, I did that because we're going to put our nose next and our nose is located in the middle of our head. Now I'm going to take a look at my selfie and see that my nose is a triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle in the middle of my head. Oh, my line isn't straight, but you know what? If I really wanted it to be super straight, I can use a ruler, but that's not a problem. Now that we have our nose drawn, we have to draw our nostrils. Those look like two ovals at the bottom of our nose. If you have a circle nose, a square nose, a triangle nose, our nostrils are located at the same spot. Okay. Take a look at your selfie and you'll notice that your eyes look like ovals. Everyone have oval eyes, but some people have small oval eyes. Some have medium oval eyes and others have large oval eyes. Now for my selfie, I've seen that I have medium oval eyes. So how many eyes am I going to draw? Three, two, five. I'm going to draw five. Oh, wait, sorry. Two eyes. So I'm going to draw an oval eye on one side. Then since we have two eyes, I'm going to draw a second eye. Now, this part can be tricky. We're going to find where our mouth is. And to find where our mouth is, it's somewhere in between our nose and our chin. It's somewhere in the middle. So right in the middle, I'm going to draw a happy smile. And for our mouth, we have a guest appearance. It is the letter M. And you know what letter mouth starts with? 
You're right, the letter M. Now, for our top lip, we're going to take the M and we're going to stretch it. I'm going to start with this part of the M, the long part. Then the short part goes down, then up, back over here. Now, to complete our lip, we're going to draw another curved line right underneath for our bottom lip. There's a happy smile. And I think we're done. Oh, wait, we're forgetting something. We're forgetting our eyes. There's something left. And that is our iris and pupil. Our iris is a circle. It's the color part of the eye. Some people have green, some have blue, some are brown. And then we have a pupil which goes right in the middle. Everyone has a black pupil. So I'm going to do the same thing for my other eye. A circle, then a smaller circle, and I'm going to color in black. Next, we have our eyebrows. I'm going to make this a happy portrait, so I'm going to make my eyebrows into curves like that. Next, we have two things on the side of our face, one on each side. We have our ears, and our ears are just going to be ovals for now. Some people have pointy ears. Some people have round ears. And that is okay. It's those little things that make us different. Last but not least, we have our hair. Looking from my selfie, you can see that I have a lot of hair. And my hair is short on the side and poofy on top. And then short again. You have different hair. And I'm going to take a moment to show you how to draw different kinds of hair. Some people have long hair. And they have bangs. Some people have short hair. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this to complete it. That way you can see what it looks like. Some people have poofy hair like myself. Some people have curly hair. Back to my self portrait. I'm going to add a neck because we have to have something to hold our head to our body, right? Oh, a little mistake right here. That's okay. That's what the eraser is for. And I'm almost done. You kids don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to add my mustache, my little beard. And there you have it. There's your self-portrait. Now you can take this a step further by tracing your lines with a marker. You can use a magic marker, use watercolor markers, any kind of marker, even a color pencil. And as you can notice, I didn't exactly trace on the line and that is okay. And why is that okay? It's because I started in pencil and I can just erase the pencil after I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace this in. And I've been doing this for a long time. So I've had a lot of practice. And the more you practice, the better you get. Just like anything in life, if you like to do something and you want to get better, you have to get 
better by practicing it and doing it. If you don't do it, you don't get better. And drawing is just like one of those things. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect for it to be considered art. If it makes you happy, you do it. Now, see, I can just go over and erase the pencil without erasing the marker. See how that goes? Now I can just finish this up. I can color it, do whatever I want. Now with enough practice, people are gonna start looking for you to draw them. And I hope you had as much as fun as I did. This is Mr. Amir signing off. Practice art, love yourself, love one another.